Welcome to Help Stop the Genocide in American Ghettos podcast. I'm your host, Emmanuel Barbie. This afternoon, we have a special guest, Evangelist Vera. Okay, you're live on the air. Go ahead. Hello, everyone. My name is Evangelist Vera. I'm streaming live from Nigeria, Imo State, uh, to be precisely. I am a servant of God the preacher of the gospel. Mr. Emmanuel Barbary is streaming me live to join him fight genocide in America, Chicago in particular. I am bringing the word of God to you, the listeners. I want to teach, preach about love because when you, you wait, you see what he is fighting for. Love is the number one thing there. If there is love, nobody will kill anybody. Nobody will humiliate anybody. Nobody will, will, will there will be no racism. There will not be anything like black or white. We are one before God. That's the work of love. I'm bringing my text from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. When you read it down, see everything about love. Love is the greatest. Love is the greatest. Of every commandment the, the God, our Lord has given us, love is the greatest. Book of uh, First Corinthians, chapter thirteen, verse one says, "Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not charity, that is love. I have no faith. Although I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains, I have not charity. I am nothing. When I have everything and I have no love, I am nothing." I have nothing. And what my brother is doing, Brother Emmanuel is doing, is the act of love. He wants to see every black America, every black Africa to be okay, to be happy, to be seen as equal with any, any other person, whether black or white, but equal before God, because before God, we are all equal. We are all the same before God, our maker. He didn't make the white separate. He didn't make the black separate. He made everybody one. We are one in Christ. We are one in Christ, one body. Christ did not come for the black. He did not come only for the white. He came for the human beings, everybody that is being created by God. He has equal love. He shared equal love. He gave equal love to each and every one of us. That is the work of love. Why are we killing people? Why are we humiliating others? When we have love, there won't be anything like that. If you have love, when you before you pinch your brother or your sister, pinch yourself first and feel it. If you feel it, you will not do it to your brother or your sister. That's the work of love. Preachers of the gospel. The book of First Corinthians, I'm still reading, says, Charity suffereth suffer long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself. It is not uh, evil. It's not evil. Charity is not evil. Praise the Lord. When you have love, you have everything. God says, if you love,
Uh oh, you're freezing. No, he. Because you will love as he has already loved you. If you don't love God, Bear with us, that's uh, internet issues. And again, this is why I'm trying to bring, get my Christian business popping here in America first. So when we come to Africa, I'm gonna bring the best of the diaspora. We're gonna help solve your uh, internet issues. Uh, go ahead, woman of God, you was cut off. Uh, go ahead, woman of God. Uh, you lost. Uh, we lost connection. Hello. Hello. Continue. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, we we lost temporary connection, but you're back on. Go ahead, please. Hello. Yes, I'm here. Continue, woman of God. Uh, continue, please. Over here, we try to keep it real. We're trying our best to uh, give people an opportunity, especially my Christian friends that have small ministries, an opportunity to come here to share God's word. Also, if you have a business, I'm trying to give everybody that's on my uh, friends list an opportunity to come on here to promote your business. I'm not just on here just trying to sell my revised book, but um, my, my biggest thing is to try to connect with uh, Black millennials and Generation Z between the ages of 18 through 40, because this organization is for you. Um, over here, we keep it 100. We are authentic. We don't play games. We're not about um, scams and all that kind of mess. Because like I said before, I don't associate with those type of people. Over here, we're raising the bar. And um, I'm giving everybody an opportunity. All right, um, Evangelist Vera is back. Okay, woman of God, continue, please. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Network. Yes. I want to encourage every Nigerian, every African in Chicago. I want to encourage you guys to please read his book, Mr. Emmanuel Barber. He's a you read you read uh, the books his books online by the ones you can praise the lord i'm grateful even though um, we have internet issues we still want to go strong praise um, the lord yes praise the lord. Is it's okay woman of god so please, my fellow Nigerians, show him love as I preached concerning love tonight. Show our brother love by teaming up with him, join his group. Let's fight this genocide. Let's fight it and have victory. Buy his book so that you support him, grow the ministry. Now I want to hand over to the host. To All right. The program. All Mr. right. About me. All right. Woman of God, I'm going to ask you to stay on the line with me, okay? That's that's important. Okay, no problem. But before okay. I go into my before I go into my little um I would say rant, 
I want you to tell my listeners how they can find you on Facebook so that way they can network with you directly. Okay. Mm -hmm. How they can find you on Facebook? Find you. I'm trying to give you an opportunity to have my listeners to support you and your ministry. Tell them how to do that. Okay, you can get me on Facebook on as Evangelist Vera, Truth and Light of God Assembly Ministry. You help me support my ministry. God bless you as you do that. I remain Evangelist Vera. Thank you. All right, woman of God. Uh, do you have, um, just curious, do you have a phone number that they can call as well or an email address? Oh, wow. That's all right. The enemy is bugging, but that's okay. I've been going through this type of foolishness for the past 32 years and I haven't allowed that to stop me. You know, it is what it is. However, uh, those of you that's listening, I have 1,370 people on my Facebook friends list. I'm grateful that it's increasing. But um, only one person out of all those people have donated to our film project, and that's not cool at all. Okay, uh, woman of God, one other thing I want to ask you. Do you have a phone number okay. or, email, or email address where my listeners, they can uh, send you information and things like that? Yes, I do. Okay, tell them that, please. Okay. You can get me on my internet at orischiemeka at gmail.com. Orischiemeka at gmail.com. My phone number is plus two three four Nigeria code seven zero three zero four eight 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 two two plus two three four zero seven three zero four eight 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 two two. That's my contact number. Amen. Woman of God, I'm going to ask you to do the best you can to stay on the line, please, because I want to go ahead and say my, uh, look, okay. my I want to say my little pep talk, and then I'm going to close the show out. So all my listeners okay. that's listening to this, um, this um, podcast, video podcast, thank you all for your time. Um, over here, we mean business. Over here, I'm trying to build something positive and constructive. And I want to put the black world on notice. All of the hard work that I have been doing for the past 32 years has not been in vain. The devil is a lie. Yes, I have, um, I would say, my critics and small-minded negative people that want to come at me with that and foolishness. I push them out of my life. They're not welcome because woman of God, mark my words. Once I start making money in this Christian business, those people that have uh, rejected my vision and plan, they'll be the first one in line playing like they want to be a part of this. And I'm going to let them all know, no, they will not be a part of this organization because we're going to separate ourselves from con artists, off code Negroes, yes. Those that don't care yes. about the black youth, those that don't care about yes. what's going on uh, on the continent of Africa, yes. we're gonna yes. raise the bar. I want to connect with African yes. immigrants here in the United States of America. That's what God is calling me to do. Okay. So I can do my job because this is okay. a Nehemiah assignment. It's bigger than Emmanuel Barbie. I am calling upon. African immigrants from the following African nations, which is considered um, the Sahara Africa, which another word is the Black Africa. 
because Northern Africa, that's where the Arabs are. And they're trying to divide our continent that way too, but that's another issue. Right now, I want to focus on Subhara Africa, where the black, quote unquote, black Africans are. From the following African nations, South Africa, Kenya, Ethiopia, Tanzania, Uganda, Angolia, Liberia, Ivory Coast, Ghana, and Nigeria. Those of you okay. who live here in the United States of America that immigrated from Africa, please connect with me. First, I need for you to purchase my revised book. It's called The Solution for Black America, Reclaiming, Rebuilding, and Restoring the Urban Ghettos in America, second edition. You can find this book in the comment section below this video podcast. I want you to read my story for yourself. If you agree with my vision and plan, then make arrangements with me to uh, come on this uh, podcast so we can talk about this book and help get this book on the uh, bestsellers list. This book has been um, on Amazon now for 12 years and still barely selling. Ask me why, woman of God. Yeah, okay, she froze, but that's okay. Reason why? Because Black America is not, they don't want a solution. I have little to no support from Black Americans, and this is to help Black America. My own family members not even supporting it because a lot of my family, a majority of my family members are full of Willie Lynch. They say, oh man, you should get a quote unquote, a real job. And for them, a real job is working for the man. I'm like, Negro, that's not my calling. I'm trying to create my own business. And we're starting it from the grassroots. So the reason why it's taking so long because this is a spiritual thing. Yeah. And that's how come I want people um, to mark your calendar for um, April 27th. That's going to be next Saturday. That's where we're going to be hosting our virtual conference. And um, on there, I'm going to talk about, um, I want to know what the real, the grassroots community activist movement members, where you at? I need you to stand up mm -hmm. worldwide. Help get my revised book on that bestsellers list and donate to our film project. Um, the film project uh, is called, entitled Hood Liberator, Made in Chicago, The War Against Willie Lynch Begins. That film is based on my experience and it's based on my revised book because unfortunately a lot of our people don't like to read. But I want people to know my story. That's very important. And um, so we have two ways how people can donate to our film project. And again, that's through our GoFundMe page. Okay. And also, if you're a United States citizen, you can donate through our PayPal page. And um, if you donate through our PayPal page, you can use that as a tax write-off because this is a legitimate nonprofit, faith-based community advocacy organization. Um, also, again, you know, our virtual store, we're going to have, again, all those links in the comment section below this video podcast. So that way you can um, patronize us. But I just want people to read my story first. Why is this organization important? Because once we uh, get this business uh, popping here in the city of Chicago, we want to make Chicago a model for the other um, cities across the United States of America in terms of all the inner cities. Um, again, it's important that we have African immigrants involved with uh, helping us build this uh, business. And the business is the Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Chicago. That's what we have to build. So I, I want like-minded Black Americans and like-minded African immigrants, like-minded uh, Afro-Caribbeans, like-minded Afro-Latinos to be a, a part of this. Non-Black sympathizers, they're welcome to join us, not as groups, but as individuals. 
Again, our goal is to focus on solving black issues point blank, not to sit up here and complain about the white man and the government. That's what I stand on. This is what I wanna be remembered for, trying to do something. And all these, uh, again, we're coming against that Willie Lynch mentality. So those of you that's, uh, I would say that's black Americans that's got family members and friends that's full of Willie Lynch, they, they don't care about black issues. All they wanna do is just exist. Those are not the kind of people that's gonna be a part of this business. And that's how come we're gonna screen people once we get our uh, building um, fully funded and made. That's how come I have to have this uh, film project. This is my last attempt to try to do something positive for my racial group before I cut and run to Africa. I do not wanna to come to Africa empty handed. I wanna to come to Africa and bring tangi um, economic tangibles starting in South Africa, because that's where God is leading me to go to. Gurkham will be known as, um, oh, wow, I forgot, I forgot the name of the um, that term I use, but um, we're gonna change, it's gonna be known as another name. Ba basically it means land of the blacks. But um, that's what your cam is going to uh, represent. And there, I'm going to apply for dual citizenship because I want Africans to take me serious. I'm not some dude that's trying to hide behind a computer. I'm out here to recruit brave and smart people. That's the whole reason I, I'm online, because I don't have support from people here in my own city. And that's fine. It is what it is, but I'm not gonna up and run from this city because the same um, Willie Lynch mentality is all over across the United States. And we wanna deal with that dysfunction. We wanna work with black families that want more out of life. Provide them with basic resources and services. And we wanna have build that connection with Africa and those that just want to stay and continue to be treated as fourth and fifth class citizens in America, that's on them. As for me and my house, I'm claiming my ancestral homeland, which is Africa. And I want to make sure we get our presence known. Um, like I say, in South Africa, we're going to shoot our second film to there. And that's called African Liberator, Battle Against the Colonized Mindset. We got to heal from this stuff because all these other racial groups, yeah. they're on cold. Yeah. They work together. It's black people and yeah. African people that don't know how to work with each other. The devil has fooled us to think of us as enemies. Now in Africa, the main problem Africa has, Africa, a majority of business owners are Arabs, Chinese, East Indians, and Europeans. They own the most uh, businesses in Africa. That's a shame. That's a doggone shame. So before I bring my business to Africa, we're going to get it popping here in America first. And we're going to compete against everybody else that's not a part of us. Again, people that's, you know, I would say smart people. They should, they would embrace this. But again, it's because of that Willie Lynch mentality. We got to come against that and we got to come against that uh, colonized mindset. And through my Christian business, we're going to heal from that. That's what God has called me to do. And he's the one that's going to get credit and, and the glory for this because it was Jesus slash Yahshua that gave me this vision. And I'm not going to let no man nor woman on earth change that vision. I stand on that 10 toes down. And again, if it was up to me, the, the spirit of God would um, have had this business up and running years ago. But this is for his credit and for his glory. 
and I respect that. And I'm grateful that he called me to do this and I take my job serious. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, woman yeah. of God, again for um coming on my show. And all I want to want you to understand, and all my other guest speakers from Africa that has came on my show, once we get this Christian business up and running here in the uh, city of Chicago, and once I'm able to um be in a better position financially through the business, I'm gonna have you and other uh, guest speakers to come to a Chicago to speak at our live events um, through the business. We'll help pay for your um, travel and hotel expenses. We're also going to give you, um, wow. we're also going to um, bless you with some uh, pocket money for your talents and skills. That's how we get down over here. That's what I'm going to do in my business. Those that work with me, I'll work with you. Wow. Those that sit up here and want to reject me wow. and all that stuff, don't want to be a part of this. Once I start making money, you think you're going to come around me and be in my face and smiling and all that stuff so you can get in my pockets? Bring it on. Bring it on. Wow. So that's not what I'm about. With that being wow. said, with uh, uh, again, uh, please mark your calendar so you can be a part of our um, virtual conference because I'm going to do my little pep talk. Once I finish my pep talk, then I'm going to open okay. up the show where people can talk live on the okay. show, I keep asking people to please practice with me. If you don't know how to get on um, StreamYard, I try to give you an opportunity to do so. So, you know, why wait to the last minute when you don't know how to get on there? And I don't want to be waiting no two or three hours for you to get on the show. So, you know, it is what it is. But woman of God, all I'm asking you to do for me, just pray that the Holy Spirit would give people that's on my um, um, Facebook friends list, because that's where I have a lot of people that on here, as well as on my um, LinkedIn page, I have about 7,000 people on there, that God would give them the heart of flesh, that they would purchase the book. Don't be scared, purchase my book. I challenge over here, I challenge any black, politician, male or female, any black preacher, male or female within the United States of America that can put me to shame, come on my show and do it and get on camera. Put me to shame. They don't want to, woman of God, this, this is the solution and I can prove it if given a chance. But again, this is a Nehemiah assignment. I can't do all this kind of stuff. Um, I'm, I'm going to wrap it up. So, okay, so um, when we come to uh, South Africa, and we're going to do this in other African nations too, the, the other 10, like I already mentioned, but we want to solve um, the rolling black, they call it load shedding in uh, South Africa. That's the same thing as um, rolling blackouts. We're going to solve that. I'm Through my Christian business, we're going to talk with, to, yes, we're going to talk to the African government and let them understand that, hey, we're here yeah. to solve we here to solve, um, you know, your your social problems about as it pertains to that, and mm -hmm. we're gonna help and Im improve, you know, the African tourism. But we're gonna do that through this business in exchange for my members that's uh, part of the diaspora for them to have dual citizenship. Because I'm not just doing this for myself. Okay. I want to do this to give black parents an opportunity to have options. I don't want to see my uh, members living in no urban war zone. That's not nice. So that's yeah. how I come through this business. I want to purchase property in those 10 African nations. So that to give, yeah. um, I would say our um, the diaspora, especially black parents options. Mm -hmm. You can sit up here and cry and beg the white supremacist financial elites for freedom, justice, and equality. They're not going to give it to you. They haven't given it yeah. to us um, for the past 60 years. What make you think they're going to do it now? Yes, they owe us reparations, but we can't just sit around and wait for reparations. So that's all I'm trying to do. 
Okay, so oh, it's going to help. Yes. So with that being said, oh yes, another thing too. I'm not gonna. I ain't begging nobody to be a part of my business. If you don't want to be a part of it, I say delete me off your friends list and keep it moving. Shoot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But but um, but again, I just want to connect with brave and smart, like-minded people, black people, or let me just say, black Americans like-minded uh, African immigrants, like-minded Afro-Caribbeans, like-minded Afro-Latinos, non-Black sympathizers that's like-minded for you all to help people work everywhere. with me. Don't wait until I am dead. Work with me while I'm alive because I'm trying to do this thing. And so with that being said, um, that's going to conclude our show for today. Um, our next um, video podcast is going to be April, Thursday, April 25th. Um, 25th. Yes. And it looks like I might have um, two people coming on. I'm not sure. So, you know, we'll keep, we'll play it by ear. Um, April 26th, we have Coach um Colleen Colleen on so we'll see so with that being said that's going to conclude our show for today thank you all for listening again I try to give everybody an opportunity to come on this video podcast to promote their their ministries their businesses and I'm gonna do that in my real business um I, I really wish I could remember the name of the um, the term that they call for um, land of the blacks. I know it's not, it's K, 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 I think Kima, oh my goodness, Kuma. Do you know a woman of God, the term for land of the blacks that they call from Egypt? K, oh, thank you. Lord. Oh, no, Kemet, Kemet. So that's the name, Gurkam, my Christian business is going to be known as Kemet, which stands for Land of the Blacks. So, but wow. right now it's not, it. Kemet, it's, not Kemet, it's not Kemet yet right now. It's still just Gurkam. But again, this is what Jesus slash Yahshua, he has given me this vision. And that's what he wants me to do. And for us to learn through this business how to trade with each other. We have to learn how to trade, do businesses with each other. And again, we want to raise the bar. So once we have that physical build, building from the film, because that's, what's gonna, that's what it's going to take. Very important that we get this film project fully funded and made. Because the proceeds from that film, that's going to put me in a better position financially so I can hire. Well, first, so I can purchase property here in the city of Chicago and purchase um, office equipment, hire qualified black middle class professionals and African immigrants here. Um, I'm going to say within the United States of America, but specifically around the Chicagoland areas. And for us to build the Grassroots Community Activist Institute together. So we want to, it's going to serve the African American community as well as the African immigrant community. And we want to do that for credibility. So when we come to Africa, I don't have to waste time trying to explain who is Emmanuel Barbie. The business is going to speak for itself. And Jesus slash. Yes. Yes, Jesus slash Yahshua gets all the credit because he's the one that gave it to me. And I yeah. claim, he gave it to me and I claim ownership. But we ain't having no corruption up in this business because we're going to have mm -hmm. consequences in play or protocol. So anybody that tries to join this business once, is, uh, once we have that physical building is going to be located on the west side of Chicago and hopefully expand to the south side of Chicago. To make our presence known in the devil's stronghold, which is the black ghettos. It's a shame. A lot of our youth are being slaughtered by our own 
quote unquote so called uh, people. They're melanated just like us, but they're urban terrorists. And they're killing more of our people. And God wants me to bring my business there. I came from there. I know how, I know what it's like. That's why I named this um, podcast Help Stop the Genocide in American Ghettos because over here, I can't sugarcoat genocide. That's when kids are being killed and having their brains blown out and society don't care. They care more about animals. So a lot of black people are becoming desensitized because they have become Americanized and they're practicing um, this word called narcissist, meaning self-absorbed. Self -absorbed. They don't care about the black community. They don't care about Africa. But it's Africa that got all God blessed with all the natural resources and minerals that the West needs in order for them to maintain their first class lifestyle. That's why I'm trying to get the business popping here in America so I can expand it to Africa. That's, That's cool. all. I'm not hating on white people. White, I ain't bothering. All I'm saying is that we have to come against that white supremacist financial elites. Um, not through violence. Um, the spirit of God is going to handle that. He's going to fight those battles because all the these different um, military, um, yes. all, yes, all the militaries gonna, that's on the African yeah. continent, we don't want them there. They don't have African uh, military in the West. So they're up here still trying to recolonize Africa and we're against that mess. And that's what in our business, we're going to teach our um, the African locals about that. Also, woman of God, I really need people to understand, especially Africans because you're the majority anyway of the world as it pertains to the black world. Because black Americans only make make up 12% uh, of the population here and it's gonna get even worse because the immigrant crisis. It was black Americans oh. that, that I've been reaching out to, like I say, for the past 32 years, they, they, they didn't heed to what I've been talking about. I, I already predicted about these, um, the migrant crisis, and now that's coming to pass. And if Black America don't get it right and don't heed to um, the, the vision that God has given me, it's going to be over for Black Americans here in the United States of America if they vote those Democrats back in office. But woman of God... It, like I say, this is spiritual warfare, but I do want to mention to you too, the white man is not stopping black Americans from buying my book. The white man is not stopping uh, black Americans from buying items from my virtual the store. The white man yes. is not stopping, yes, stopping um, everybody yes. that's on my friends list from donating to the film project. That's a personal choice. A personal choice, yeah. That's a personal choice. I can't do my job. How in the world do you expect me to do my job if I don't have the financial support to uh, be in a position to do that? That's why I wrote the book in the first place to generate capital. That's why I created the virtual store to generate capital so I can do my job. But that's okay. That's okay, woman of God. This is how come I have to... Um, I, I have to be rough with um, black Americans because they're pushed. They push me to to a wall, and so this is why I'm putting the black world on notice and letting them know what I'm going through and what I'm trying to do for the black world. And if Black America want to act funny style with me, it's no problem. This is why I'm reaching out to African immigrants because it was Black Americans that helped get African immigrants in this country in the first place. We spoke out. So that's all I'm trying to do, woman of God. And I stand on that. And God is going to help you. Yes. So God, uh, who has been with you from the day you started it, is going to help you perfect it. Yes. All right, woman of God. Yes. I want to take up. 
Hey, Amen. I don't want to take up much of your time or anyone else's. Thank you all for listening. Um, peace and blessings. And that's going to conclude our um, show for today.